the devotees, disciples, samajis, satsangis, Sri Mahant, Mahant, Thanedar, Kottari, owners of Sarvanya Pita, Balasans, <laughs> visitors, viewers, <coughs> sitting with us, in Nityananda Nagara, from all over the world, and sitting in, sitting in Rajya Sabha, from all over the world, sitting all over the world, from Bidhi. I welcome all of you with my love and respects. Kumbha Mela. How will I introduce this word? Please understand. The greatest lifestyle humanity has evolved is Sanatana Hindu Dharma. This lifestyle has three major pillars. The spiritual truths, the sacred secrets, pilgrimage centers, energy centers, Kshetras, Tirthas. Second, Third, the great festivals and celebrations. The tradition is so vast, so deep. The source book of Sanatana Hindu Dharma is 2 million, 20 lakh. And the commentaries is 20 million, 2 crore. Understand? That is why I am saying the word religion as per the Western standard, the Oxford definition of religion, the Wikipedia definition of religion can never comprehend what is Sanatana Hindu Dharma. Because in Sanatana Hindu Dharma, if you measure based on the Wikipedia's definition of religion, my every Gurukul Balasan is the founder of religion. I am not going to drag Ramakrishna, Ramana Maharishi, Kapila, Shankara. No, no. You don't need them. The definition of religion by Wikipedia the Oxford definition of religion, the dictionary definition of religion, as per the Western standard, any of my Gurukul Balasans is the founder of a religion. I tell you, 2 million source book, 20 million commentaries, and any pilgrimage center, the, the Wikipedia's definition of pilgrimage center, the Oxford definition of a pilgrimage center. We have very easily one lakh. Very easily. If I start now, I can go on, utter the name, where I don't even need to refer my memory. Just I can utter easily one lakh. Tirthas, Kshetras we have. And not a single Tirtha can be defined and comprehended or fixed into the definition of Wikipedia's pilgrimage, pilgrim center. 
too vast, too much, too big, because it is too sacred. Understand all religions, philosophies will have these three. Source book, pilgrim center, and festivals and celebrations. All the three are too big in Sanatana Hindu Dharma. The source book, two million. Pilgrim centers, one lakh festival, Kumbha Mela. How can I introduce Vedas and Agamas? Do you know in Kamigagama, Mahadeva says, one crore crore verse he has given as Kamigagama. Means, put one and put 29 zero. That is the number of slokas Mahadeva has given as Kamigagama. It's only one of 28 Agama and 212 Upagama. As a literature, spiritual literature, Vedas and Agamas can never be introduced as pilgrim centers. Kashi, Kanchi, Mathura, Rameshwaram can never be introduced. There are 12 Rameshwarams, 48 Madurai, 215 Kashis in India. Please understand. Go to Encyclopedia of Hinduism, you will find the reference I am giving. Such vast spiritual literature, such vast pilgrim centers, Naturally, if this religion as a celebration, it will be like Kumbha Mela. It is Kumbha Mela. How to introduce Kumbha Mela? It is, it is literally, please understand, geographical representation of the truth and celebration is pilgrim center. Philosophical representation of pilgrim center and festival is sacred scriptures. The festive representation of philosophical books and pilgrim center is celebration. <laughs> Listen to this three more times. Only then you will understand what I am saying. Philosophy, place, celebrating both. Philosophy, place, celebrating both. Philosophy, Veda and Agamas, place, one lakh, celebrating both, Kumbha Mela. You can't introduce Kashi because it is physical expression of two million scripture and the eternal celebrative spirit of Hinduism. You can't introduce Hindu scriptures too vast to introduce what all is into scripture, I may need one full year. Understand? If I speak concisely and precisely to introduce what all is into scripture, I may need one full year. Among the scriptures, Vedas can never be introduced because it is too vast. Among the Kshetras, Kashi can never be introduced because it is too much. 
among the festivals kumbha mela can never be introduced because it is too too much kumbha mela is the celebration of 2 million sacred scriptures and 1 lakh pilgrim centers 2 million sacred scriptures means 2 million religions as per the definition of wikipedia 2 million religions because as per the wikipedia each religion has one source book each tradition has one source book 2 million religions as per wikipedia and 1 lakh pilgrim centers as per wikipedia gather to celebrate their existence that is kumbha mela i don't know whether to introduce the historical significance of kumbha mela or the grandeur with which people gather do you know the four cities in which world's largest gathering happens once in three years incidentally all four of them don't have airport Haridwar, Allahabad, Nasik, Ujjaini. All four doesn't have airport. I don't know Ujjaini, I have to refer. But other three I am sure. Haridwar doesn't have. Allahabad doesn't have. Nasik doesn't have. literally for that volume of beings human beings and other beings gathering please understand i can't use just the word human beings other beings just because now nasa has revealed the aliens suddenly the whole world is accepting hey for millions of years we were declaring there were extra territorial beings and they are not aliens extra territorial beings but they are not aliens because we are all part of one organism now i have information even ujjaini doesn't have airport all four place doesn't have airport world's largest gatherings once in three year happens there if you are born or practicing hindu if you have interest and curiosity towards sanatana hindu dharma the one and only word i can tell don't miss kumbha mela i can repeat any number of times <laughs> i can repeat any number of times if you missed reading vedas you can give some reason and forgive yourself if you missed visiting pilgrim centers you can give some reason and forgive yourself if you miss kumbha mela you have no reason to forgive yourself no don't 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 visibly you will see all different philosophies of 
Hinduism being lived in every multiple in every breath by multiple individuals you will see a sadhu standing in one leg for enlightenment 27 years you will see a sadhu keeping hands up for last 45 years for enlightenment in our akada mahanirvani akada 11 sadhus keep their hands up for last 20 30 years to achieve enlightenment our akada has sadhus who can just blow the air and grass will burn all traditions of hinduism in all its dimensions in their peak performance and celebrative spirit you can experience in kumbha mela the puranic story goes there was a time where the demons and gods churned the milky ocean and the nectar came and they started fighting for the nectar and Garuda protected the nectar by keeping it in these four places and that's how the nectar got spilled over in these four places and the Kumbha Mela started and spiritually I can say that on that particular alignment now the Guru Jupiter is moving in Simha, Simha Rasi. That is why it is called Simhastha Kumbha. Simhastha Kumbha, the Nasik Kumbha Mela is called Simhastha Kumbha. Because whenever Guru moves in Simha, the Brihaspati moves in Simha Rasi. Simhastha Kumbha is celebrated in Nasik. Each Kumbha Mela time, Jupiter moves in a special energy. So, during each Kumbha Mela, at that part, those few days, the huge cosmic energy gets centered to awaken your very bioenergy. Understand? This is the most closest replacement possible for direct Guru's initiation avail available on the planet Earth. Closest possible replacement for a living master book Kami Gagama Pilgrim Center Arunachala the festival Kumbha Mela. Closest possible replacement for the direct initiation Kami Gagama book the place Arunachala Hill the festival Kumbha Mela how to describe introduce Kumbha Mela you will see literally all all living branches of Hinduism be there to shower their fruits on you Yoga Sampradaya, Vedanta Sampradaya, Saiva, Shakta, Virakta, Bhairaga, Nirvani, Niranjani, Juna, Agni, Atal, Ananda, Prasnami, Shankara, Madhva, Ramanuja, Ramakrishna Paramahamsa Yoga Ananda. Every living tradition with our usual festive spirit are available. What to see? Sadhus burying themselves and meditating, burying their heads, breathing through legs keeping their hands up or standing on one leg, did not lie down even for sleep for years. You can see sadhus 
who don't have even a one piece of cloth lion cloth in their body not in one or two thousands and you can see sadhus wearing at least 20 cage gold jewelry there is one baba golden baba 11 kg golden jewelry he wears all the time and it's not a joke to carry 11 kg all the time on your body you can see millions entering into sanyas life and you can see who have arrived into the sanyas life into enlightenment you can see people who have come down from the other space to initiate people into enlightenment as incarnation you can see everyone a to c alpha to omega and what not kumbh the very word infuses the spirit of excitement and joy I tell you, please, please, please do not miss Kumbha. You don't know what you are missing if you miss Kumbha. First of all, so many millions of people gathering for one purpose and act itself creates such vast, intense group energy. Especially when it is created for the sake of enlightenment. How can you miss it? If you are a disciple, follower, sympathizer of Nityananda, you are follower of the philosophy of enlightenment. Then you can't afford to miss Kumbha Mela. You can't. You can't. Sanyas Patati, there is a beautiful description. Kumbha Mela is the time. Masters have to give sanyas for anybody who asks. That is why this Naishtika Brahmacharya concept was invented. Whoever asks, we can't deny. Then sometimes people take sannyas and drop and become patitas. Means worst situation. Without being sure of themselves, they take it. And then they fail to avoid this accident. Self-inflicted pain. The Naishti Brahmacharya initiation was invented so that they can try to find whether they really want it or not. Kumbha Mela, you can see sannyasis of two year old to two hundred year old. I mean, please understand, in Hindu tradition in India, still, still, I am responsible for what I am uttering. At least we have 10,000 people who are living beyond 200 years. Even now, forget the stupidity of, oh, then why we don't know, how, where are they? Come to Kumbh Mela. You will see vegetarian, wild animals. One sadhu had a lion, which is completely vegetarian in Autobiography of Yogi, you can see about that sadhu. I have seen a tiger which is vegetarian. In those days, you can see sadhus whose jata is ten times longer than their height. Enlightened beings, sadhakas, sadhakas from various stages of various traditions. I tell you, only if you see Kumbha Mela, your ego will come down. You will understand there are millions of people who knows more than me, who are living enlightenment more than me. You will understand 
have a right idea about the vedic tradition till you see kumbha mela be very clear you don't know abc of hinduism till you see kumbha mela you don't know the abc of hinduism simhasta kumbha is an amazing opportunity for you to experience kumbha this place is the place rama lived all of you need to know with rama the upanishadic era ends krishna's words are not accepted as upanishad be informed it is only smriti not shruti with the mukti ko upanishad taught by rama upanishadic era ends Rama is the last rishi accepted as per the Vedic tradition. By Krishna, it becomes Smriti, no more Shruti. Means human beings are already contaminated and corrupted. It's only remembered, not just heard. When there is no gap between listening and remembering, that era is called the era of Shruti, listening. When there is a gap. in completion between listening and remembering that's the era of smriti remembrance no in completion between listening and remembering that era ends with rama rama lived in simhasta in nasik rama lived there all the cities all over the world if you are able to see me hear me please wave your hands it's too much to miss if i have to describe the hindu shastras scriptures knowledge covered by knowledge covered by knowledge covered on the heap of knowledge covered on the heap of knowledge knowledge heap covered by knowledge heap if i have to describe the hindu pilgrim centers devotion covered by devotion covered by devotion covered by devotion if i have to describe kumbha mela excitement covered by excitement covered by excitement covered by excitement <laughs> if i can i'll stand on the roof top or the mountain top or the top of any talas tower and only thing scream don't miss kumbha mela the spiritual significance understand the modern researchers like masaru yamoto all of them have proved clearly how one word from one person for few days can change the quality of the water million of seekers thousands of enlightened beings and one great incarnation what can they do to the water the quality of the water why do you want to miss enjoying that nectar feel blessed it is happening when you are having the human body and it is happening after being informed to you kumbha mela never give it never given invitation it's only order it's happening come warning don't miss it no invitation no invitation order happening come warning don't miss it now actually i am too excited that is why i am searching for words how to introduce kumbha mela 
literally all gods of hinduism will be present all masters of hinduism will be present all traditions of hinduism will be present all practices of hinduism will be present all sacred sentiments of hinduism will be present everything about the sanatana hindu dharma will be present everything about sanatana hindu dharma will be present one man's one word few days can change the quality of the water millions of seekers so many days continuously and thousands of enlightened beings tons of sadhus and an incarnation what transformation they can cause to the water i already decided the bare minimum number of people who need to run the ashram only those few will be left to take care of the campus everyone else be there in kumbh mela i told our sangha already we have very limited slots for participants because more than 150 slots i took it for our ashramites and mahans for the organizers ashramites mahans we took more than 150 slots it's only remaining few hundred is left out you can see sanatana hindu dharma celebrating itself in kumbh mela you can see sanatana hindu dharma teaching in the scriptures you can see sanatana hindu dharma living in kashi but if you want to see sanatana hindu dharma celebrating itself come to kumbh mela such large gathering no crime and in the whole kumbhagat nowhere food will be sold nowhere food will be sold no crime for that large crowd literally zero crime and no food will be sold because for everyone food is free you can literally live hinduism you can literally live hinduism the wow facts of kumbapuri maha kumbapuri world's largest happiest city please understand world's largest happiest city in population whenever kumbh mela happens that city the four places the kumbapuri that becomes world's largest populated city because the population crosses simply 3 4 times of delhi or any largest populated city entire city accommodates something like a 30 to 40 million people and 100 million visit last praya kumbh mela 100 million visited the main mauni amavasya shahi snan day 30 million took dip means three and a half times population of new york crime rate is less than 0.004 of global average no communicable disease in any of the kumbh melas in spite of large population gathered in small area and this prostitutes are talking about condom supply raising in nasik go and see one tenth of this crowd gathers in any country any place not just condom how many tons of things are getting supplied and you have audacity to say condom supply has increased 
in kumbha mela prostitutes have no backbone to celebrate kumbha mela is the national pride recorded inscriptions of kumbha mela available more than 1000 kumbha melas for last 12000 years means world's oldest spiritual celebration and festival you can't introduce you can only give glimpse of kumbha mela so as mahamandaleshwar of mahanirvani akada the oldest apex body of hinduism i welcome every one of you for kumbha mela and as an incarnation i welcome all the beings of the cosmos to be in kumbha mela and as the founder and head of spiritual head of nityananda sangha i tell you don't miss kumbha mela so before the last segment of this webinar i invite manupamananda to share few things with you before coming back to me i'll come back and share some more about kumbha mela in nasik Manupama, please go ahead. Thank you, Swamiji. I want to share a few words before I take you back to Swamiji. I know all of us are eager to hear more, so I'll keep it as brief as possible. That short but very profound sharing on Kumbha Mela will certainly have left all of us wanting to be there. Kumbha Mela is the best opportunity to be spend time with Swamiji in a unique setting. It is the largest gathering of humanity in one place, in one event, as Swamiji shared. Over 100 million seekers gather to celebrate their spiritual life and their quest for enlightenment. And you will get to experience the grandeur, the miracles, and lifestyle of people who live spirituality along with a living incarnation, Swamiji. This unique opportunity is a 10-day program from 10th of September to the 20th of September in Nashik, India. You will stay right in the middle of the festival with Swamiji. The highlight of the strip is a dip in the holy waters of the river Godavari with Swamiji to cleanse your karmas. You will travel with Swamiji's procession and be among the first groups to take this holy dip in the waters. The first of 100 million people that are going to be there. If you're intrigued and want to learn more, please scroll down to the bottom of the page where you're viewing this video and fill the registration form asking for more information. I hope to see each and every one of you soon in Kumbh Mela at Nasik. Thank you for your listening. I know we're all eagerly waiting to hear from Swamiji. So I will request Swamiji to address us all. What to address after the address has been given? <laughs> Giving you all the address is the only address I can give. <laughs> now the address is given where, when, how, what? So just pack your bags or don't pack your bags, it's up to you, but be there. Whether you want to pack your bags or not, up to you, but be there, that is up to me.
that is all. You are going to enjoy Samaya Diksha, various rituals, homas in Nasik Kumbha Mela. You will be literally seeing the who's who of the Hindu spiritual cosmos. All the stars will be there in our camp and Literally, we are building our own building for this Kumbha Mela. Then understand, <laughs> we are literally building our own infrastructure because it's a heavy rain season. We are building our own infrastructure for this Kumbha Mela. It's just, we are going to be rocking. Be there. Don't miss. And all the cities. You can understand the way how I am excited about Kumbha Mela. I did not even read your names. <laughs> cities sitting with us. Houston Adinam, Singapore Adinam, Toronto Adinam, Vancouver, Rotterdam, Netherlands, Punka City, Oklahoma, Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, Seattle, Adinam, Hyderabad, Guptakashi, Dubai, Adinam, Dakota Dunes, Washington, Adinam, Trinidad, Tobago, Warrington, UK, Philadelphia, Guadalupe, Adinam, New York, Adinam, Los Angeles, Adinam, Oklahoma, Adinam, Kuala Lumpur, Adinam, Ohio, Adinam, St. Louis, Adinam, Oman, Adinam, Porterville, California, San Jose, Adinam, and Maprabha, so many centers, Canada, Winnipeg, Canada, so many centers did not put your name on the screen, and many more are joining. Porterville, California, St. Louis Adinam and I welcome all of you not just to this webinar but to Kumbha Mela and I think the essence of today's webinar don't miss Kumbha Mela so, with this, I bless you all, let you all radiate with integrity, authenticity, responsibility, enriching, causing, living Advaita, the eternal bliss, Nityananda. Thank you. Be blissful. Nityananda Dhyana Peetam, Nityananda Nagar, off Mysore Road, Bidadi, Bengaluru. Phone. 08027279999 www.nityananda.org www.youtube.com/lifeblissfoundation